Thank you very much, Paul, and the superintendents of the String Shanties tonight. Ben Scrivens, who is starting his seventh of the last eight games the Marlies have played, and the workhorse in the American Hockey League, and starting his fifth consecutive game is David Leggio. Fratton has picked up that offensive slack in a hurry as a loose puck in front of the net and a great save made there right off the hop by Scrivens as in front of the net Brian Flynn got the chance. Brennan gets it ahead on the left wing Adam in with a shot and he rang that off the crossbar. Brennan back to McNabb he fakes the shot with a play in front oh and Scrivens made an excellent play there he got across and square in front of the net made the save another shot scores! McNabb from the blue line over the blocking glove and the Rochester Americans open the scoring with a power play goal. And McNabb with a good play here to keep the puck alive with the blue line. And then a nice little feather across D to D. And now they play catch. But look at the traffic in front here. There's the first chance by Flino. Puck recovery again. And then right back to the point. Look at the traffic. And it finds a way to get right through and up over top of Ben Scrivens. Koska back to Matt Trapp. Bratton twisting. Gets it into the corner. A centering pass in front. They score! What a pass by a coin! And Nazem Kadri finishes for him. Uh, that's terrific vision by a coin. And what I like about this is how quickly they move the puck. And Fratton brings the high man out, waits a little bit, and right away a no-look pass straight across to Kadri. And Rochester gets caught watching the puck here. And this puck should never go through the crease like that. Finley lets it go, and Audrey, in perfect position, makes no mistake with a great release on a stick. Boom, off a stick to tie this game up. Kenny Ryan back checking as the pass comes ahead to Biaga. Long shot scores! Off the catching hand of Scrivens. I think he'd like to have this one back, but the wrist shot. And uh, Viega gets the goal, and it is 2-1 Rochester. Scrivens playing so well in this second period to set the stage to get his team back in the game. And then a harmless-looking shot there that fools him completely. And you wonder whether holes are there. Might have got his stick on it. And certainly he had it right out in front of the goalie there. And I think it hit his stick and went right over top. You can see the little peak by Ben Scrivens afterwards and I don't think there's any doubt about it that that puck might have taken off on Scrivens after it hit Holzer's stick on the way in. Gobbled up Koska's backhand knocked down nicely by Brennan and the wrist shot where's the puck it's still in front of the goal backhand shot at Scrivens comes across and makes a big love save. Polino had that side and now Polino's taken off the helmet and so is Will Acton. Will Acton likes to go too, so we'll see how this one works out. Well, so far the shadow boxing, and now a right hand from Felino. And Acton trying to measure his man. Felino, whoa, Acton got one there, and then Felino got one in two, and down goes. Centering pass goes to a coin, fakes the pass, holds onto it. One penalty is over. A coin centering in front of the net. Oh, what a save as Fratton was robbed by the left hand of David Leggio. Brennan into the slot for Felino. Felino got the shot away, it's blocked in front of the rebound. On a great chance in front of the net there by Mancari. Back to the blue line, it goes to Ranger with a wrist shot that got through but went wide and Zygamanis wondering why he was on the seat of his pants. Here's a chance, goal! What a shot from Paul Ranger to tie the game! Only a matter of time, the way the Marlies have pressed here in this third period. Good trap here by Paul Ranger as the puck goes around the board. And he jumped in, gambled a little bit, and then absolutely rifled one up top shelf. Boom! And Edgio there had no chance whatsoever. A real good read by Paul Ranger. He knew his team was down by one in the last five minutes of the hockey game. The veteran knew that he had to jump in and take a chance. He gambled and won. Cleared by the Amerks into the center ice area. And this game is going to go to overtime. Koska with a long pass that has gobbled up. And now here's a 2 on one break. Felino into the slot. It goes the wrist shot. Glove by Scrivens. How did he catch that? He didn't. It's in, it is wedged 
in between his arm, almost in his elbow of Matt Carey and a three on two rush going the other way. Here's Matt Fratton into the slot for Cadre. Scores! Nazem Cadre wins the game! He's the kind of player that teases you, does some things defensively you don't like, but then he can break a game open. And Nazem Cadre does it here. And a turnover, a missed shot by Rochester. They don't get back in the play. Great play by Fratton over. Left-handed shot. And that quick release from Cadre here. And there's Fratton. Peak, peak, peak. Slows it down. Finds the seam. And Cadre, we've seen him do it so often. He just sort of sweeps the puck with that quick release towards the net. And that fool, Rego, who's had a real good off night until that particular goal. And the Toronto Marlies come from behind a 2-1 third period deficit to win the game in overtime.